Chapter 4 The Muscular System Audio Script 5 Good morning everyone. My name's Dr A.J. Steele and I'm the doctor here at City Football Club. Today I'm going to talk about common muscle injuries. Footballers frequently get these, so a lot of the work of the medical team here at the club involves care of our players' muscles. I'll also be describing how we deal with these injuries. Firstly, I'd like to define the term strain. A strain is an injury to a muscle or tendon in which the muscle fibres tear as a result of overstretching. A strain is also commonly known as a pulled muscle. The equivalent injury to a ligament is called a sprain. The typical symptoms of a strain include localised pain, stiffness, discoloration and bruising around the strained muscle. Strains are a result of muscular fibre tears due to overstretching. They can happen while doing everyday tasks and are not restricted to athletes. Nevertheless, people who play sports are more at risk of developing a strain due to increased muscle use. One set of muscles is particularly vulnerable to strains, the hamstring muscles located at the back of the thigh, which often tear during heavy exercise. If you see a footballer stop running suddenly and hold their thigh, it's often a clear indication of a pulled hamstring. The injured player will feel a sudden sharp pain and be unable to continue. So how do we treat these damaged muscles? First line treatment for a muscular strain includes four steps. These are commonly known as RICE. The first step... R is rest. This involves stopping any unnecessary activities and especially those that cause pain to prevent the strain from getting worse. The second step, I, is ice, which is used to reduce swelling by reducing blood flow to the injury site. We never ice for more than 10 to 15 minutes at a time as using ice for any longer could cause the skin to freeze. In order to protect the skin, it's essential to place a layer of fabric, such as a towel, between the ice and the injury. The third step, C, compression, means wrapping the strained area to reduce the swelling. Finally, we use elevation, E, to keep the strained area as close to the level of the heart as is conveniently possible. This stops blood from collecting in the injured area. The ice and compression, known as cold compression therapy, will stop the pain and swelling while the injury starts to heal itself. Controlling the inflammation is critical to the healing process and the icing further restricts fluid leaking into the injured area as well as controlling pain. This immediate treatment is also accompanied by the use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs which reduce the inflammation and relieve the pain. If the injury is accompanied by acute pain or if the limb can't be used, or if there's noticeable tenderness over an isolated spot, it can be a sign that a bone is broken or fractured. Well, before I move on to talk about other common footballing injuries, are there any questions?